Welcome to OhioPork.org. My name is Camille Kopchewski and I'm a consultant in agricultural education. I'm also a teacher and our goal here today is to take you through the world of the pork barn. We're also going to show you a lesson plan how to make a pork barn with your students. We'd like you to refer to the PDF that's attached to this file and talk with your students a little bit about what they think pigs need to be raised correctly. Do they need a warm place to live? Do they need good food? And how would they accomplish that? So talk with them a little bit about that. Use the worksheet that we've provided and the questions we've provided to have them brainstorm that. Once they've done that, we'd like to take you through a little activity about how to make a pork barn with them, a pig barn, if you will. So what you'll need in terms of materials are listed on the PDF, also attached, but I'm going to take you through that quickly. They'll need four envelopes. You can take those out of your recycle bin. Just four envelopes, four business size envelopes. They're going to use three of those business envelopes for the sides of the barn and one for the top. And I'll show you how in a second. You'll need scissors for the kids. You'll need tape. You'll also need a toilet paper roll, some extra paper, and two straws. This will actually become the feeder um, storage for the pigs and for the barn that you'll be making. Take one of the envelopes and you'll have the students cut out the center of the envelope so it looks very much like this. This will become one of the sides of the pig barn and it will be a curtained side. This will allow air and ventilation into the pig barn so that the pigs are more comfortable. So one of your sides of your envelopes have them cut a hole in. Take the other two envelopes. One of them will be the opposite side to the windowed envelope, and the other will be the ends. Have them cut that envelope in half to be the ends of the pig barn. Take the four pieces of envelopes, spread them out on the desk, and have the students tape them together so that you have a four-sided structure. On the side of the structure with the window, take half your paper towel that are included in your material list and have the students tape that paper towel over the window to show how a curtain can open and close on that pig barn. Finally, take your fourth envelope and Fold it in half, shall we say hot dog style, and place it on the top of your four sides and have the students tape that for the roof of the pig barn. Next, to make the feed storage, take the toilet paper roll and you'll attach the four pieces of your straws that the students have already cut, the four pieces, and have them tape that to the bottom of the paper towel, the toilet paper roll, to make the feet. And then you'll take pieces of paper and comb them for the top and the bottom to make the feet storage. And it'll be fun to watch the students try to balance that uh, with the feet. And that goes on the very end of the pig barn. Okay? So that's a quick tutorial of how to make the pig barn. Then the students can take this concept you can watch one of the videos attached to ohiopork.org and show them what a modern pig barn looks like. Then they can creatively add other things into the pig barn. You could take the top off, you could put feeders in, you could put waters in, you could put pipes in. Now, what does that look like? We have a model here that we'd like to introduce to you, and Jennifer Keller is going to take you through this model to give you, the teacher, some specifics about ideas so that you can generate those ideas with your students as they make this craft. Jennifer? Hello. This is a smaller version of a, a typical barn that pigs would be raised in on farms today. You can see in through this section, there's a few pipes that bring the feed out from the feed bins or the food storage into each of the pens in the barn so that help to help ensure that pigs have clean, fresh feed in the barn. Here are some pigs eating out of the feeder. Pigs eat a diet of corn and soybeans. Their food looks like this right here in the center. 
You take the corn and the soybeans, they're ground up and mixed together, and that's what pig feed looks like. This pig is drinking out of a waterer or a drinking fountain inside of the barn. Barns have plumbing to ensure clean, fresh water all, all year round. There's fans on the end of the barn and curtains like this that would, that would adjust in the, the um, depending upon the season and the, and the conditions for the pigs. Farmers would enter their barns through a door that would lead into an office and on the walls of the office are control panels such as these. And this is very high-end technology that helps farmers stay attuned to every need of the animal. These control panels would turn the furnaces on in the wintertime, turn fans and misters or sprinklers on in the summertime with the goal of help keep, helping to keep those pigs as comfortable as possible all year round. The farmer would also have a desk and a computer and, and the ability to keep track of their records and, and keep track of each of the pigs. Here we have just another picture of a farmer inside of a barn and this farmer is, is a veterinarian. That, that went to vet school and came back to work on the farm. But rather farmers have a veterinarian um, th back at the farm or rather they work with someone in an office that would work with several farmers. Farmers do the best that they can to, to ensure care for their animals. We appreciate you taking the time to, to look at our barn and to check out the education resources. Please visit our website and additional videos at ohiopork.org.